My name is John Linton. I'm a photographer that takes photographs of the great American West. This work I had kind of cataloged and, and I was taking it strictly as a way to reset my emotional constitution from the street photography. The, the work on the street gets heavy emotionally and I needed a place oh, to be whole again. Um, the work on the street, you know, you end up wearing kind of the despondency of what you're capturing there home like they're your own clothes oftentimes and it gets painful. So I needed a place to reset and I found it here in these photographs. It's really about, it's really about patience. Uh, recently, I, I've had the good fortune of working with someone that's provided a lot of inspiration to me from a picture-making standpoint. A preeminent photographer in New Mexico, Ray Belcher, I presented his work a couple, I presented my work to him at a show that he had in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and said that I, you know, was fussing around with the camera, didn't necessarily call myself a photographer, that I'd had exhibitions in street photography, but I'd asked if he'd look at one piece, and when he saw it, he said, you're a photographer, man, people need to see this work. Ray taught me a lot in the times that I've been able to spend with him in the last, uh, well, in the last year or so, and it's really about, it's really about patience, man. You throw your bobber out on the pond and you patiently wait. I sat there for five hours waiting for just one little hint of light to pass along the monolith. It was a spiritual experience in many ways, Doug. Uh, you could feel the energy in the, in the air, really, and in the ground itself. I mean, it was, it was mystical. Um, these are the kind of places that I like to go. Places and, and make a picture and, and, and in the digital world today as well it becomes very easy just to shoot and click a button and take as many photographs and just hope that one works out and after working with Ray I, uh, I changed really my approach completely so I will I'll stay present in that moment and be mindful of what's happening in my surroundings the same way that you used to you know uh, really use these old cameras you know, it wasn't just about uh, a continuous click of the shutter to make a photograph. You had to, you have to stay present and mindful and wait for the magic to happen. Places that actually affect the sensibilities and provide a sense of calm and peace. And, and I hope, uh, and, and places that also have some mystery around it. So I'm trying to look for places that, that are sacred, that are special, that I can share with the world.